Mabuhay, Pinap family! It's your girl! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Here on my channel, we do cash stuffing, unstuffing, cash budgeting, sinking funds, uh, savings challenges, uh, just about anything that has to do with uh, saving money. Shout out and thank you for all the ways that you've supported my channel, for all the uh, likes, you know, the shares, for subscribing, leaving me comments, for all your wonderful support. Thank you all so much and I am so truly grateful. Also, don't forget to follow me on my other social media accounts, TikTok and Instagram. On today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to figure out the amount to put in your cash envelopes category. And I'm going to use me, myself, as an example. The things that we are going to um, need in this video are we are going to need like a piece of a paper, uh, something to write with, a calculator, and your 2023 calendar. Okay, we're going to begin. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and write down our information. So we're going to write category. Okay, because later on, we're going to list down all of my categories I chose for this year. Next to it is the goal amount. All right, so let's do maybe a dollar sign and we'll, da we'll write down the, the word goal. Um, for the goal, you're gonna have to set your budget. So how you figure out your budget is that you look at your expenses from the previous years, look over your bank statements or look over your expense tracker last year. Uh, do you have the same spending habits? Do you want to change them? Do you want to increase them or decrease them? Like use those numbers to decide what you want your budget to be. So next to it is the due date. So let me go ahead and write due due date. So like when the categories are do when will you be well when you when will you be needing this money so this will uh, this will help you calculate the next column which is uh, the number of weeks okay so this is the number of pay periods till your goal is do if you're getting paid monthly you divide this by the number of months till your goal is due okay um the next to it is going to be um amount pay amount per pay period amount per paycheck or per pay period so calculate your budget amount by how many months or weeks when you will need this cash so in my case I get paid every week so that's four times a month and on some months there's five weeks so I will calculate by how many weeks I need this money by Okay, so now we can write down or list down um, all of my uh, categories. Okay, so I have uh, my personal envelope. Okay, next is my husband. 
Okay, next is our daughter. Next is our son. The next category is our son and W. The next one is our oldest son. The next one is my dad. I have haircuts. Family fun. We have car. We have other other occasions. So let's okay. Other um, let's just write other uh, OC, okay? Because it's gonna be too long. It's gonna go over the next um, column. So I'll just put um, other OC. It means other occasions. And the last one is cursed. Must. Okay, you guys, so I only have 12 categories. Um, my categories are revolving. So meaning I will be dipping into these categories um, every month or so throughout the year. Um, they don't have a due date except for the Christmas envelope. Um, just for the sake of this video and to help you guys out, I'm going to put a due date um, on each categories and I will explain. Okay, so let's start with my personal sinking fund. Um, I don't spend a lot on myself. My birthday is not until the first week of December and even on my birthday, I don't like to go out. Last year, I spent around $500 on myself on beauty products and clothes because I was still working at my retail job. And this was before my you know, YouTube journey. Now that I work from home, I doubt I will spend a lot on myself, but you know, we'll never know, right? So let's aim on... Um, April 1st, so that's before the spring hits. Um, I don't know what can come up four months from now. So let's set a goal of $300. And the due date will be, let's see, uh, when is spring starts around April so let's say April 1 or at the end of um, okay so this is where I'm looking at my calendar so let's see before let's just say 31st right uh, 31st of March okay okay so the number of weeks so I like I said earlier I get paid every week so I just count how many weeks from today until the due date so on my calendar okay uh, okay today is about January 3 so on my calendar I will count the weeks from today. Um, for January all the way until March 4, 5. Let's see. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's about um, 12 weeks to complete this goal. Okay. So I'll divide, let me put my calendar down. So I will divide, you guys, um, the amount I need, which is 
here's my calculator I need a three hundred dollars um, and divide that by um, 12 weeks okay and that gives me um, $25 per paycheck that I need to put away so let's say if you get paid um, once a month okay we can calculate this by month as well so let's say um, so $300 you need $300 in uh, today's January so Fe January February March right so you need this in uh, three months so you can divide this in three months so that's $100 you guys so you need $100 to put away once a month or if you get paid once a month uh, per paycheck okay so in my case um, I get paid what every week so in a week I mean in a month there's four weeks so I can just divide that in four and I still get the same amount $25 okay so I hope you guys understand uh, now let's move on to our next category which is for my husband okay so last year um, uh, last year on our credit card statement he spent almost seven hundred dollars on he, um, on new wardrobes new everything um, socks uh, new underwear athletic clothes jeans shirts uh, short sleeves long sleeves like sweaters like he went shopping around um, his birthday as well in may um, i am expecting for him to spend hopefully no more than 700 dollars um, after his birthday he doesn't spend much anymore um, his birthday is on the last week of may okay so i'm going to set the goal here for 700 dollars there and let's see on my calendar um okay so this is i'm gonna need the money by uh 26 26 of may okay and so that's how many weeks from today um that's about 20 weeks okay you guys so i'm going to take my gold amount of 700 dollars and i'm going to divide that by 20 weeks and that gives me a 35 dollars to put away per paycheck or every week okay next is um our daughter um my okay so my kids need um, clothes and shoes every nine months the last time we went shopping for their clothes was last june um, they are due in spring for new wardrobes i spent around three hundred dollars on their clothes per kid and it's always been like that every year uh, their envelopes will also cover for other things such as um, their rewards when they get an award from school um, and Halloween costumes. So Halloween is not until October. So let's focus on spring first. Uh, they are due to buy new clothes four months from now. And um, actually, I will give each of like my daughter and my two young sons $300 to spend this spring. So let's set them up with $300. And I'm going to need this by April 1st. Okay. And 
in my based on my calendar that's 12 12 weeks okay so I'm gonna do the same with my sons okay um, I need this by April 1st or at the end of March okay 12 weeks okay you guys so I'm going to take $300 and I'm going to divide that by 12 weeks and that gives me $25 per pay period okay um after spring I will reevaluate this um, like what they may need throughout the months and set a new budget for the next quarter now let's go to our next category which is my oldest son uh, my oldest son doesn't live with us but we see each other um, on occasions and you know we like to eat out hang out when we could his birthday is coming up in april um, i would like to save four hundred dollars to take him out to a special dinner with his partner of course and we'd like you know to pay for them uh i'm going to okay set him up with four hundred dollars okay so i'm going to need the money by April 24 uh, April 21st and that is 15 15 weeks from now so let's go ahead and figure out the amount so I need four hundred dollars you we divide that by 15 weeks so that gives me $26.66 so let's just round that off to let's see let's just round that off to 30 yeah 30 dollars that's fine okay um the next category let's go to my dad okay so i like to help out my dad whenever i can i don't give him money but i'd like to help him with like you know uh, filing documents uh, there are times like he asked me to um, accompany him we go out to eat and stuff and you know I like to treat him like once in a while so I'm going to set a budget for him um, for April because four months from now I don't know what may come up um, then later on you know if there's extra money in his envelopes then that's fine then I will reevaluate the goal after spring. So for now, um, let's set him up with um, three hundred dollars. Okay, and I'm going to need this at the end of April, uh, at the end of March, or by April first, and that's going to be. 12 weeks and so we do $300 we divide that by 12 and that's $25 per paycheck I need to put in his envelope okay so let's now go to our next category which is haircuts for my two young boys um, by April their haircuts will be due the amount is $35 per person but you know it could go up um, we've been noticing that the price keeps going higher every time we come in okay so let's see okay so 35 plus 35 that's for my two young boys my husband however gets his haircuts 
once a month. So that's $35 a month for him. Okay, so let's see. For the boys, I need $70 by April. So let me write down first. Okay, so by April 1, I need $70 for my two young boys. So I need to divide that by, so how many weeks is that? About 12 weeks, right? So $70 um, divided by 12 weeks. So I have here $5.83. So let's just go ahead and round that off to $6 dollars right so for my husband uh he needs a 35 dollars uh per month okay so let's do 35 dollars uh, let's divide that by four okay because four weeks per month so that's about $8.75. So we're going to round that off to $9. So for my husband, I need to put away $9 per paycheck plus the $6 for my um, boys. And that's equal to $15. $15 per paycheck. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and do that because this is a revolving expense. Okay, let's now go over to a family fund. Um, family fund is revolving because, you know, we may never know what we want to do. So I want to break it down um quarterly start with the spring uh for things like easter or spring break okay so we're going to set an amount for six hundred dollars um and i'm going to need this by spring so april 1st and that is 12 weeks from now. And let's go ahead and figure out the amount that we need to set aside per paycheck. So we have $600. You divide that by 12 weeks. And that's about $50. Um, so whatever we don't use rolls over to the next quarter okay so let's now go over to the next category which is car and my goal for this envelope for this year is one thousand uh, dollars we haven't needed any serious car repair yet so that's you know knock on wood but i want to be prepared and i don't want to um and I don't want to set a date for far out like December to reach this goal uh, of $1,000. So I will set it for um, six months from now. Okay, so I want to set a goal of $750 by the end of May or let's say June 1st. Okay, and that will be uh, 26, that will be in 26 weeks. So let's go ahead and calculate $750. We divide that by 26 weeks and that gives me $28.84. So let's go ahead and round that off to just $30. Okay. Okay, guys, the next one is um, other occasions. So my goal for this category is $1,000 this year. 
Uh, we don't have any events planned, but I want to save, um, let's do half. I want to save $500 by June, okay? And then, you know, the rest of, um, and then the rest by the end of the year. Okay, so $500 by June 1st, that's going to be, okay, you guys, correction. So this is not 20 weeks. So this is going to be 26 weeks. Sorry about that. Okay, right? All right, so I'm going to make sure. Okay, you guys, um, before I move forward, I made a mistake and I'm going to correct that. Okay, so let's go back to car. Okay, so it's actually not 26 weeks, you guys. I'm so sorry about that. I don't want to confuse you. All right. <laughs> All right, so... Okay, because I was um, double-checking my calendar. Okay, so it will take me about 21 weeks from now until um, my due date. So, oops. Okay, so 21 weeks, okay? So this is also 21 weeks. Okay, you guys. So, so now we can calculate. So 700... $50 divided by 21 weeks, okay? That gives me $35.71. So let's just do $35, okay? And then now we can go to other occasions. So I need $500, okay? So 21, it will take me 21 weeks to get to my due date so divided by 21 weeks and that gives me $23.80 um, so let's just do I'm thinking if I want to round this off so let's just do $25 yeah $25 we are now doing our last category which is Christmas so for this year my gold amount is $2,500 and I'm going to need this um, by the end of November. So let's do 24, okay, of November. So based on my calendar, that gives me 45 weeks you guys 45 weeks okay um okay because by november we need to do our christmas shopping before it gets hectic so two thousand five hundred dollars we're going to divide that in a 45 weeks and that gives me $55.55 so for this month for this one i'd um rather round it off um, i will do 60 dollars per pay period okay you guys we are now done planning it out let's go ahead and count this column right here just how much i'll be putting away um per week Okay, so that will be $375 per week. Okay, you guys, so I hope I was able to help you guys on this topic, how to figure out how much to put in your cash envelopes so if you guys have you know any questions about this video or other questions that you may have feel free to leave it down below at the comment section 
and I will get back to you guys as soon as I can. So I think that's all for now. I will see you guys next time. Bye everyone.